The domain of range of a quadratic function is what we're going to talk about here. So the domain of any quadratic function is all real numbers. You could plug anything into the into a uh, quadratic function. And it's going to work because it's, it's a parabola. So as x gets big, as x gets small, everything's going to plug in. Uh, the range, however, is what is going to be different. So the, the range of a quadratic function written in the form f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c with a positive a value, so it's opening up, is going to be from the vertex on up. So what we would want to do is find the y value for the vertex, and that's the low point. It's going to go from that on up. If, however, it opens down, so that's for um, one that opens up. Vertex, think about it from this point up, is the range. If it opens down, however, it's going to be at that vertex on down. So that's why we have negative infinity up to that point for having a negative a, the negative a value. So the range of a quadratic function written in the standard form, this is much easier to get because you don't have to calculate the k, is uh, it's already there for you, is going to be for the one is going to be from k to infinity versus from negative infinity up to k. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to find the domain of this one, the domain and range. Well, we know the domain. Domain is going to be all reals. The real question is, what is our range? So let's, get, there we go. Uh, we don't have K, so we'll do negative B over 2A. So that's our H. So it's going to be negative of negative 9, or negative or positive 9, excuse me negative of 9 over 2 times negative 5. So it's going to be 9 over 10. Negatives cancel. So if I look at f of 9 tenths, it's not a pretty number. Negative 5 times 9 tenths squared plus 9 times 9 tenths minus 1. So it's negative 5 times 81 over 100 plus 9 times 9 is 81 over 10 minus 1. So negative 5 times 81, I believe that's 1, um, no, I think it's 405. So I'm going to say negative 405 over 100. I'm going to double check on my calculator because I hate having to, re to fix these. But let's just see. It is going to be 5 times 81 is 405, okay? Then plus, we have 81 over 10, so I'm going to multiply this by 10 over 10 to make that 810 over 100 minus, and then 1 would be 100 over 100. So we end up with 810 minus 405 minus 100 to give us 305 over 100. And we can reduce that. So you get 61 divided by 5 over 20. So since this is negative, it opens down. The vertex is the high point. So the range would be negative infinity up to 61 over 20. And that should be it. Oh, sorry, should be a squared off bracket. Okay.